Hi, this is Cam McCasson with Acuity, and welcome to this presentation on Solid Edge Synchronous Technology. The aim of this presentation is to show you what you need to know to take advantage of the Solid Edge Synchronous environment. But before we begin, I want to say I have a very high opinion of synchronous technology. In high school, I spent a few months learning a more conventional, history-based CAD system, and it was not fun. I finished the project and didn't use a CAD system again for two or three years. When I started working at Acuity, I spent just a few hours with ST4 learning the ins and outs of working with Synchronous, and I was hooked. The robot in the picture, which is still a work in progress, is the culmination of my third modeling project. There is not a single ordered feature in that entire assembly. I find the ordered environment frustratingly restrictive. And besides being more flexible and easy to learn, the synchronous feature workflows almost always require fewer mouse clicks to complete than the same operation in the ordered environment, which over the course of creating a complex model saves a lot of time. I'll stop there. Like I said, I have a very high opinion of synchronous technology. So these are the solid edge definitions of synchronous and ordered features. Feel free to pause and read them, but the short version is, a synchronous feature is a collection of faces with no creation history, as opposed to an ordered feature which retains its creation history. The result being that synchronous features can be edited with no concern for how they were created. It also means you can create synchronous features with no concern for how you might need to modify them later. Before you can start working with the synchronous environment, it's important to know while synchronous features are displayed in the ordered environment, ordered features are not displayed in the synchronous environment. This is a consequence of the history-based nature of the ordered environment. Synchronous features are solved first, and then ordered features. However, ordered features can be converted to synchronous features, but we'll cover that at the end of the video. Next, ordered features can only be edited using the feature command that created the feature. Clicking a synchronous feature in either environment will bring up the steering wheel. With the steering wheel, a face can be pushed, pulled, or rotated. Depending on the type of face, the steering wheel may appear as one or two arrows, but the full steering wheel can be displayed at any time by clicking the origin knob. During any steering wheel modification, you can key in positive or negative values to make precise adjustments in either direction. Before I get into live rules, I'm going to jump over to Solid Edge and demo the steering wheel real quick. It's really very intuitive. Just a quick side note, for this demonstration I have disabled live rules. I'm just going to make a cube real quick. You can use the steering wheel to pull or extrude a sketch, so I will. Clicking a flat face will bring up the simplified steering wheel. Clicking the origin knob allows me to place the steering wheel wherever I like. It will snap to faces, edges, and key points. The steering wheel can be oriented by shift clicking the plane surface inside the wheel or by clicking any of the orientation knobs. The arrows of the steering wheel will push or pull a face, and the circular part of the wheel will rotate a face. Note that using the steering wheel to modify a part does not create new features. Next, let's look at using the steering wheel with live rules on. Put simply, live rules allow the user to control which face relationships will be maintained during synchronous commands. First, I would like to point out that none of the changes I make during this demonstration will create any new features. With live rules enabled, any face with no detected relationships will behave normally. Any faces with detected relationships such as symmetry or being coplanar will maintain those relationships. You can disable live rules either by clicking the Disable Live Rules button or hitting U during any synchronous operation.
Notice, during synchronous operations, any relationships that are detected by live rules will be highlighted in green. You can enable or disable specific live rules by clicking their tiles. To restore the default live rule configuration, you can click the Restore Live Rules button. In addition to using the steering wheel and live rules to modify synchronous features, you can assign any of the listed face relationships. I'm not going to demonstrate all of them, so I want to mention that there is a good explanation of each of the face relationship commands in the Solid Edge help documentation. Just type relationships into the search bar at the top. Any assigned relationships will appear at the bottom of the feature tree under the relationships category. However, if any assigned relationship effectively eliminates a feature, the relationship will not appear in the feature tree, and the feature that was eliminated will be removed from the list. Let's take a look at face relationships in action. We'll start with a simple coplanar relationship. First, select your seed face, then right click, and then select your target face. Now that we've created our coplanar relationship, we can move either face and the relationship will persist, even with live rules disabled. Next, I'll create a coplanar relationship with multiple seed faces. Just for fun, let's make this cone concentric with this cylinder. When making synchronous changes to complex models, it can sometimes be difficult to determine why a particular face is or is not being included in a synchronous operation. The Solution Manager allows you to pause a synchronous operation and examine the role each face is playing. The Solution Manager also makes it easy to adjust the live rules for one or multiple faces during a single operation. Note that I have specifically assigned several face relationships. Let's try moving this grounded plane. Naturally I cannot, but let's launch the Solution Manager anyways by hitting V. The transparent faces are unaffected by the current operation. The green face is the seed face, and the orange face indicates the desired operation is unsuccessful with the current live rule configuration. Selecting a face will bring up a command bar with all live rules affecting that face. You can then disable the live rule for all faces, or that one face in particular. Now let's try moving one of these coplanar faces. Again, notice that face relationships persist even when live rules are disabled. Hit V to open the Solution Manager. Notice this time the blue faces, indicating the coplanar relationship. And just to reiterate, you can disable relationships for all or individual faces. Last, I want to cover converting ordered features to synchronous features. The first thing to know about converting a ordered feature to a synchronous feature is that it is a one-way process. Synchronous features cannot be converted into ordered features. To convert an ordered feature, just right-click it and select Move to Synchronous. Feel free to pause and read through the slide if you'd like a more thorough explanation. I'm going to go ahead and move on to a demonstration. I'm going to convert this ordered pattern to a synchronous pattern. Note that ordered features profile sketches are converted to used sketches in the synchronous environment. I have now converted my ordered pattern to a synchronous pattern. It will behave as any synchronous pattern would.
Hopefully this has been a useful introduction to Solid Edge Synchronous Technology. Whether you're an experienced history-based CAD user or learning your first CAD system, I strongly encourage you to explore working with Synchronous. If you have any questions about the presentation, Solid Edge, or Acuity, please contact us or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.